Shanti Noel, Shanti Noel, Shanti Noel. Jesus Christ is born today. Shanti Noel, Shanti Noel, Shanti Noel, Shanti Noel. Jesus Christ is born today. This is the day when our Lord was born. In a manger far away, He came to fulfill that promise of old. He is the Savior of the world. Shanti Noel, Shanti Noel, Shanti Noel, Shanti Noel. Jesus Christ is born today. Shanti Noel, Shanti Noel, Shanti Noel, Shanti Noel. Jesus Christ is born today. Jesus Christ is born today. The Mass intentions for today as follows. A novena for Covenant and Associate members, benefactors and volunteers of the Living Water community. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sin, we ask God's pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth is the people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth is the people of good will. We praise you. in the highest and on earth is the people of good will. Glory to God in the highest and on earth is the people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated on the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. God in the highest, and on earth is the people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you 
Let us pray. Almighty and invisible God, who despise the darkness of the world by coming of your light, look, we pray with thee with serene countenance upon us that we may acclaim with fitting praise the greatness of the nativity of your only begotten Son, who is and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. We can be sure that we know Jesus only by keeping his commandments. Anyone who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments is a liar, refusing to admit the truth. But when anyone does obey what he has said, God's love comes to perfection in him. We can be sure that we are in God only when the one who claims to be living in him is living the same kind of life <coughs> excuse me, as Christ lived. My dear people, this is not a new commandment that I am writing to tell you, but an old commandment that you were given from the beginning. The original commandment, which was the message brought to you. Yet, in another way, I am writing to you. And what is being carried out in your lives, as it was in his, is a new commandment. Because the night is over, and the real light is already shining. Anyone who claims to be in the light but hates his brother is still in the dark. But anyone who loves his brother is living in the light and need not be afraid of stumbling. And like the man who hates his brother and is in the darkness, not knowing where he is going, because it is too dark to see. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. O sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O sing to the Lord, bless his name. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. It was the Lord who made the heavens. His are majesty and state and power and splendor in his holy place. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Alle, alle, alleluia, alle, alle, alleluia, oh, alle, alle. Alleluia, alle, 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 alleluia. Oh, alle, 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 alleluia. Alle. The Word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. To all who received Him, He gave power to become children of God. Alle, alle, alleluia. Alle, alle, alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the day came for them to be purified as laid down by the law of Moses, 
the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, observing what stands written in the law of the Lord. Every firstborn male must be consecrated to the Lord and also to offer in sacrifice in accordance with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now in Jerusalem is a man called Simeon. He was an upright and devout man. He looked forward to Israel's comforting and for the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death until he had set eyes on the Christ of the Lord. Prompted by the Spirit, he came to the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the law required, he took him into his arms and blessed God. And he said, Now, Master, you can let your servant go in peace, just as you promised, because my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared for all the nations to see, a light to enlighten the pagans and the glory of your people, Israel. As the child's father and mother stood there, wondering at the things that were being said about him, Simeon blessed them and said to his mother, Mary, You see this child? He is destined for the fall and for the rising of many in Israel, destined to be a sign that is rejected, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. So that the secret thoughts of many may be laid bare. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel, we see Simeon praying this prayer that is familiar to us in the liturgy of the hours, the night prayer. It's normally prayed at the close of our day when, just before we go to bed, we ask God's mercy to receive us in case we may not rise again the next morning. And Simeon was blessed by God to see the Savior of the world, to see the Savior of all of humanity. And one can see in this very intimate encounter, Simeon's heart overwhelmed with being in the presence of God. He held the child in his arms and blessed God. Blessed God and allowed them to know the parents of Jesus that all is well that all of humanity in this moment will experience the encounter of God himself. The gospel allows us to understand that the parents of Jesus fulfilled what was expected of them as laid down by the law, that the firstborn must be consecrated to the Lord. We do not have a consecration in that sense, but the baptism of our children ought to be for us this very act of consecrating our children to God, of allowing our children to know that they our gift of God, but also to the parents themselves to understand this moment of blessing 
goes far beyond the words said, but to be a part of who the life of the child is called to be. And just as our children are called to be a blessing, they in turn are called to be a blessing in our world. Now, Master, you can let your servant go in peace just as you promised. Do we fulfill what is required of the law by consecrating, allowing our children to come into the knowledge of God? Or we, do we do like some who assume that in our children's own time, when they determine, as they determine to come to God, I think when we do that, we fail them. The parents of Jesus was not only fulfilling the law, but they were continuing to follow that which God had asked of them, both our Blessed Mother and St. Joseph. St. Joseph was to take the child Jesus into Egypt and to take Mary as a child and as his wife and the child as his own. No blessed mother who said yes, yes to God. Simeon believed in God and God fulfilled his promise by allowing him to see the very embodiment of Christ, the very presence of God, the incarnate word of God among us. as we pray on night prayer and we pray that we may find rest that night and we pray God willing that another day may dawn upon us may we O oh father pray for your blessings that and also that we may be a blessing for others this we pray through Christ our Lord amen Let us pray. We pray for our Holy Church and for Pope Francis that just as Simeon was faithful to God, that our church will continue to be faithful to God our Father. Lord, hear us. That parents will fulfill what is asked of them by consecrating their children to God and allowing God will to be done in their lives. Lord, hear us. That the blessings we receive each day from God our Father will be a sign of thanksgiving for us that we in turn will be a blessing for others. Lord, hear us. That the poor in our midst may find God's mercy through the actions of others. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. For those who are, are ill, and in this time of COVID, so many families affected, grant mercy, O oh God. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. Lord, us. Father, in our hearts, we desire you. The prayers that well up within us we bring before you. Lord, hear us. Lord, Jesus, hear us. We ask our Blessed Mother to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In a manger, no crib for a bed, the little Lord 
Jesus laid down his sweet hand. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus got sleep on the hay. baby awakes but little Lord Jesus no crying he makes I love the Lord Jesus look down from the sky and stay by my side till morning is light Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dead children in thy tender care and fit us for heaven to live with thee there. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, Father, and that of all his holy church. Receive oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, from the feast of this awe filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages. He has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Be holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that we come for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which is poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thank you for all this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ when we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring unto the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jason, our Bishop, all clergy, religious, and the people of God. Remember our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who've died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. O oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace, Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away our sin and the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Brothers and sisters, at this time, those right here in the chapel will receive Jesus sacramentally in Holy Communion. You're invited to join us and make your own spiritual communion, to join your hearts with us, those of you who may be alone at home, or those of you who may be going through some kind of struggle in your life. Whatever it is, the Lord comes to you right now. He pours his healing love upon you and he beckons to you. Enter into this time and allow the Lord to minister to you his healing love. And as we pray, join me in prayer. My Jesus, I believe you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I now cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you, Lord, and I unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O Divine Savior, O Jesus, O Blessed Sacrament. We stand on holy ground. Be still for the presence of the Lord, the Holy One. glory of the Lord is shining all around. He burns with holy fire, with splendor he is crowned. How awesome is the sight, our radiant King of light. Be still for the glory of the Lord is shining all around. Be still for the power of the Lord is moving in this place. He comes to cleanse and heal to minister His grace. No one to power of the Lord is shining in this place. No to hide for Him, in faith receive from Him. Be still for the power of the Lord is moving. Through the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will visit us. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The celebration of the Mass is ended. Let us go to love and serve God. Thanks be to God. I just have one announcement. Um, persons are asking to exit the chapel to your right. 
just through that door, not through the other doors, because they're doing some work. So they're asking you to exit to the right. Oh, you didn't hear, sorry. You are being asked to exit to your right, that door across there, when you leave the chapel, than that door only. Thank you. Sing a song of joy, Mary's baby boy, had lost in a manger of Mary. He's a very God. Eternal word, our humanity sharing, holy infant, he prostrate before you. Sing a song of joy, Mary's baby boy, heart blossom, a manger of Mary. He's a very God, very eternal word, our humanity sharing, holy infant, he prostrate before you. Sing a song of joy, sing a song of joy, sing a song of joy. Have to share a bit with celestial him. him. God in the highest give glory, and on land and sea, sing peace and the peace, wonderful, wonderful story, holy in fun, he prostrate before you, son of man, son of God, we adore you, sing a song of joy, sing a song of joy, sing a song of joy. What's the passing love? Did the God have moved? All way in nature to us you Heaven to forsake Our flesh to take From his humble hands His virgin womb Only in fun Be prostrate before you Son of man Son of God We adore you Sing a song of joy Sing a song of joy 